Next, we will lay the foundation for introducing the concept of linear regression and correlation. Let's start with a few definitions. A relation is any form of connection between the variables. Usually, it can be expressed in the form of the equation. For example, a plus b equals 2 is an equation that describes a relation between the two variables a and b. We call a variable an input variable or predictor if its value doesn't depend on the value of the other variable, but can be chosen independently. We call a variable an output variable or response variable if its value depends on the value of the other variable and can be computed by using a formula. For example, consider the following relation v plus 2000t equals 20,000, where v is the value in dollars and t is the age in years of a vehicle. Depending on what variable is dependent and independent, we can use one of the following equations. Now, is it the age of the vehicle that depends on the value or the value depends on the age? The answer is obvious, so in the given relation, the better formula for interpretation is V equals negative 2000T plus 20,000. We continue with more definitions. A relation is called linear if it can be written in the form Y equals MX plus B, where X is the input variable and Y is the output variable. In a linear relation y equals mx plus b, m is called the slope and b is called the y-intercept. For example, the relation v equals negative 2000t plus 20,000 from the previous example is linear with the slope m equals negative 2000 and the y-intercept v equals 20,000. We know that a graph of a linear equation is a straight line that passes through the point 0, B and rises m units or drops m units if m is negative vertically for every horizontal change of one unit. For example, the graph of V equals negative 2000 T plus 20,000 is shown below. An intercept is a point where the graph intersects the axis. For example, the graph of V equals negative 2000 T plus 20,000 has the y-intercept 20,000 and the x-intercept 10, as shown below. To find the y-intercept, we set the input to 0 and evaluate the right-hand side. To find the x-intercept, we set the output to 0 and solve the equation. A positive relation is a relation in which the output increases as the input increases. A negative relation is a relation in which the output decreases as the input increases. In general, linear relations with a positive slope are positive and with a negative slope are negative. In our example, the relation V equals negative 2000 T plus 20,000 is a negative relation because as the age of the vehicle increases, the value of the vehicle decreases and also the slope is negative. In applications, the input and output variables have units. Therefore, everything in the equation and the graph will have units and its own interpretation. The y-intercept b has the same units as the output variable and is interpreted as the output when input is 0. The x-intercept has the same units as the input variable and is interpreted as the input of which the output is 0. The slope m has the units that are the units of the output divided by the units of the input and is interpreted as the rate of change of the output with respect to the input. In our example, the units of the input variable t are years 
and the units of the output variable v are dollars. The y-intercept is b equals $20,000, which is interpreted as the value of the vehicle when it was new. The x-intercept is t equals 10 years, which is interpreted as the age when the vehicle is worthless. The slope is m equals negative $2,000 per year, which is interpreted as the rate of depreciation of the vehicle. We can use the equation in two different ways. To find the output for a given input, and to find the input with a given output. For example, we can find the value of a vehicle that is 5.5 years old by plugging in the given t value into the equation and computing the right hand side. The value of a 5.5 year old vehicle is $9,000 according to the equation. We can also estimate the age of a vehicle that's worth $4,000 by plugging in the given value of v into the equation and solving the equation for t. For $4,000 we can get a 8-year-old vehicle. Imagine what you can do if such function was given for every vehicle. We could predict the future resale value of a vehicle we could write off the annual depreciation of a vehicle from taxes. We could compare vehicles and decide which vehicle better retains its value. However, the important question here is where does this function comes from? Or, in other words, how does one obtain such function or relation between the two variables? Soon, we will develop a formal procedure that will allow us to find the relation between the two quantitative variables, such as the value and the age of a vehicle.